In this video help, we're going to be covering a, a topic from a user where they requested how to replace the current sample data in this record with their own data. Now there are two approaches for doing this and I'm going to cover the one I think that you should always use. The basic way you do this is that if you're adding a new record and you have a current record, for example, in the sample and you want to delete that record, I don't recommend deleting it. What you can do is you can go in and click in the first fields and all the ones that are in the drop downs and go ahead and replace that with the information that you're going to do for your first trip summary. In this case there's an ID that we, we manage the application by which identifies the individual trip records. This is not editable. As you can see in here in this uh, particular list it's number two and as you go along the way for this trip the next time you do a trip and create a new record Let's go ahead and show you how to create a new record. You go into the Do Action and you say Add New Record. What you're going to do is you're going to, this numeral is going to advance by one. Then you can replace the information that's in here to create a new record. Now, as per the question that our user requested, they wanted to know how they could get rid of this or delete this record. If you really need to get this record deleted, you're going to have to go into each individual portal record and delete the current data that's in that record. Now this is a lot more difficult than just overriding this little piece of information here and then replacing this information with your actual starts and stops and also all your trip information. You'd have to go into each individual portal record, click on the portal record and remove the data that's in there or and in the case where I say keep it simple, it's just to go ahead and replace the information that you have in there with stuff that is in the downloaded list, uh, the slider that comes over here so you can go ahead and pick from that list. Now that's the simplest way. There is another way to replace data within records and what you ha have to do if you want to get rid of the record is click on portal, click in any text field and then down here you see that there's a plus and minus. What you want to do is click the negative field right here and it'll delete the record. Now in this case if I click on it it's going to come up and it's going to say either add a record, duplicate a record, or delete a record. Now I really don't like to see people do this because what it's going to do is going to cause some issues. If you do it improperly uh, it takes a little bit of you know sense for what you're doing. For example in a portal record you have to make sure that the image and information that you're deleting is for the ID number two is the record that you're actually working with and you want to replace. Uh, you can replace it I mean or and or delete it by clicking this and saying delete but then what you're doing is you're pulling out that particular portal data for that record and also what had happened is you need to go to the portal photo ID before you do that and replace that portal ID record. For example if I'm in here and this is the uh, sub picture so to speak it's the fourth, fourth ID you need to get rid of that one before you get rid of anything else you're going to still have to click down here and say delete that particular record for record number two which is trip uh, number two hopefully this makes sense and it's not difficult to understand but it's a lot simpler just to go ahead and replace the data that's in the actual photo area by clicking on it and say replace it and put something of your own in there or you can delete the individual image from over here by clicking delete on this one for pictures. Any, these are called container fields. Anytime you want to replace or delete this particular inf information you can click the delete and that will remove it from the screen. But it would leave all your text fields in there. So if you're trying to remove that data and you don't, you don't want that data anymore in your actual application you would have to go through and delete the entire record which is this sub record. Let's go back to the uh, back a record. In this case we'll go back over here and go back to Trip Planner. You'll see that that record is in here and that's the record that you want to get rid of. You would get rid of the portal which should take care of this data and that's true of any record that you're looking at. If you had multiple ones you'd have to delete each portal record in here before you delete the parent rate, uh, record data. Now I don't suggest you delete the parent record because they're sequential and you're getting rid of the ID at the top. If you don't want this data in any of these records you could delete all that then overwrite this and put your own information in there by re removing the data that's in here. Overwriting means for example in this sample record if I was going to Chicago and I was leaving San Francisco San Francisco would be where I'm leaving from but I'd go to, uh, to Chicago and that would be my final and this would be my starting place. In this case this would say San Francisco and this would be Chicago. 
All you have to do is click into the field and replace that data. And in this case, on the iPad or iPhone, you would tap in, the keyboard would come up, and then you would pull out that data that you don't want to use. So in this case, you could either you could see how you also get the select, select all, paste, and so forth. You could also paste in the information if you had it from some other place. Now this is stuff that you could type in with a keyboard. This is a drop down, and what it's going to do is actually allow you to do drop downs when you're in the iPad. When you're on the desktop version of this application, you would not need to have this scroller. You could type directly into the information here. And if you're going to type in information, and I talked about field ranges, you would be able to do some things here that are kind of interesting. You could see that you cannot actually uh, paste data in here as far as you could say replace it. And I would go in there and I could put a date. In this case, I would say uh, it says A6 and B6. I could go in there and I could go ahead and it's interesting how it put 208 A6. Uh, that, that where I don't know where that actually comes from, but that's what it does. And it's kind of strange. You'd have to back it out and put in the year that you wanted to. In this case, 118 2016. I'm going to say 16. And that would be my date. That's a little different on the iPad as, it, as opposed to doing it on the desktop. On the desktop, you would do a straightaway uh, piece of information you'd put in there. Now, you can do another thing, too, in this record. And that when I call it overwriting, you could just take this data out of here or add it yourself in here. Like an odometer reading would be something that you could just add. And you could backspace this out and then go ahead and put in your own data. So you don't really need to replace this record. And as we showed before, you can come in here and click, and you could say delete the image. That would be the be best way right off the bat to get rid of information that's in there by overwriting it. So that is what we call overwriting. And then if you have data in the image field here, that's one where you can say delete it from there also to get rid of it. OK, um, the application is very forgiving as far as uh, removing and replacing data from the standpoint as you have to keep in mind that you're working with this particular uh, portal ID is number two. So what happens, like I said, if you're going to go ahead and replace it, replace it in the same record where you want to re uh, remove information. And uh, also, like if we're doing the whole field and I click into it, you can use the negative, delete that from here too. And it would delete that particular portal record. Uh, some of the things I didn't probably cover is you can also go and copy things from the clip uh, from a field into the clipboard and then paste it some other places. And as you're editing this, it'll give you those pop-ups on the iPad and iPhone where you can just tap on that imp uh, information and it'll go ahead and put it in there. So for example, if I put in the choice, in this case, the, and then best, and so forth, you can see it'll actually type way. And it, you know, you can almost type without typing. You know, just keep on clicking and putting stuff in there. And of course, to get rid of it, you would just highlight it and backspace it. OK, over here you have bold and italic and underline. You could underline and uh, bold things if you wanted to. So if I wanted to, I could click on italic. First of all, you have to uh, pick the thing and say, OK, let's go ahead and put italic in there. And then the next thing you type will be italic, if you see that. So you can emphasize certain text if you want to, as well as other things as far as information is concerned. To drop this screen area, you can either say done or put down here and show the done at the bottom of the screen. And as I've shown in prior applications, uh, if you click on this, it's going to give you the number of records that are in the current selection. And we've talked a little bit about that as we go through the videos. This gives you the ability to see there's only one record in the application at this point. You can go, if it's a only one record, you're not going to be able to go down to the next or go back the other way. If you had a number of records greater than one, then you would have the, sh the ones that show omitted if it's not in the current selection. The current selection was if you do a find using the search uh, in the do action button, this is going to give you the ability to reduce the number of records that are in the current selection. So if I went and looked at an actual listing or a report or whatever like that is concerned, I could click on uh, search and I'd find all the records that I want in the current selection. And then it would show using this dot here. If I had more than one record in here, then these would turn blue. And I'd be able to go backward and forward. And if I wanted to see the next or previous, I could click this. And it would go to the top of the record, next, or previous record. Uh, like I said, we don't like you using these because once you delete something, you may cause some issues, especially if you deleted the parent record. Do not, do not delete the parent record. 
This is the most important thing about this video. If you delete the parent record, all of these individual records and all the portals would be what we call orphaned records. And it can cause a lot of problems with your application. What that means is you'd have records that are out there that when you do a search, they don't have a parent record ID. And that will cause issues because now you would have to go find individual records that had no ID in them and delete those. They would have a blank or on the ID within an individual portal record and those would be no longer supported as far as being able to do searches and orphan records will cause problems. That's one of the reasons why we say do not use these plus and minuses because if you use those and leave orphan records in there it's going to cause problems with when you do the next find. You're going to see anomalies with the way things come up and the way that they function as far as the application is concerned. So what is the bottom line? In retrospect I say Go ahead and, and overwrite this information. Replace and overwrite it here as far as the sample record is concerned. In here, you're going to be adding data in your trip. Go ahead and just replace this kind of data in here with whatever you want to be in there. I hope this is helpful. If you need additional information or you're confused, you can always contact us by going to the Do Action and go to the uh, Visit the Support site. And that way you can get on a uh, chat or and or send us an email or, or I can call you back and explain this information if you're in the USA. Thank you for taking this video.